Hello and welcome to this tutorial on grading soft skills. As part of the GRASS programme, we've been looking at ways of grading different soft skills within our school programme. Our school, Colosh de Chiron, is a second level school catering for boys and girls between the ages of 12 and 18 years. In this tutorial, we take a look at grading the soft skill of being an effective member of a group with our first year group called Team TX, which studies radio and television broadcasting. But first, let's take a look at what the course involves. We run a radio station, an online TV station and an after-school broadcasting club and there are almost 100 students studying radio and television broadcasting here at Kalosh de Kiran. I picked um, radio and television broadcasting as my first choice because I've made loads of different like, short films on my own without the kind of equipment we have here and I just thought it was the perfect course for me to do. Well I'm doing a radio, television and broadcasting course and it really challenges me as it takes me out of my comfort zone because I'm a shy person. Using the GRASS pedagogic rubric and under the category of ways of working with others, our statement of importance identify the aims and objectives of doing this exercise and also what evidence we would be looking for in order to make a valid assessment of the effectiveness of individual students as members of a group. As a starting point, we examined the eight key skills of the new junior cycle programme here in Ireland and focused on two, working with others and communicating. From these, we identified the soft skill of being an effective group member and set about defining our pedagogical approach. We also clearly identified the criteria for effective membership and the metrics to be used to help grade those criteria. From the outset we agreed that teaching the soft skill would have to be part of the programme if we were going to grade it. The most significant soft skill that's required for students for the 21st century is understanding their own learning processes. We've gone for years keeping all this knowledge we have about learning in the hands of the teachers and expecting the students just to do it we can teach the process of learning and how to be a sound effective learner. That I would put as a, a, a premium. And now in this project we're suggesting that soft skills have to be taught and they have to be appropriately measured based on what's needed, what's taught and what's effective for the students by way of their own learning to have effective measurement. Schemes of work and class plans were then designed in order to prepare the students for the grading process. Over a period of seven weeks we worked on many group exercises in the class environment, all focusing on group work and how best it might be encouraged and developed. Reflective practice was key in the classes as it allowed the students to reflect on their performance and the performance of others in the group. When we finished the task all of the group members that were in our, my group, we gathered around the table and we, we all chat and talked about how we could improve as a group. And we also talked about what we could do as individuals to improve the group. So each one of us realised that we needed to cooperate a little bit more or listen a bit more to the leader. So, and then we, um, we filled out these forms and we wrote down all of our thoughts of how we did and how we could each improve. Okay, group one, your time starts now. The task presented to each group required them to assemble a digital video camera, a tripod, a wireless microphone system, and finally, to record a video message on tape. Data was collected from three different sources. A video recording of the task being undertaken, which would later be viewed by the teacher and graded using a pre-designed metric contemporaneous notes taken by the teacher and student reflections recorded on a questionnaire after the task was completed. For me, the three most important aspects of being a good group member are being able to cooperate, being able to make good suggestions and being able to listen. 
The data from the three sources was then triangulated and the effectiveness of each individual student was then determined. Open badges were awarded to each student via the Credly Open Badge platform which graded the achievement under different headings. Achieved, Achieved with Merit, Achieved with Higher Merit and Achieved with Distinction. So there you have it, our step-by-step -step guide to grading soft skills and awarding open badges. Yes, we had many issues and challenges along the way, but we also learned that it is possible to accurately grade soft skills and to further engage students by recognising how they demonstrate those soft skills. Mm -hmm.